Let's learn more about Network Address Translation, or NAT, within vCloud Hybrid Service. We're already logged into our dedicated instance, so let's click the SharePoint Virtual Data Center to get started. On the Gateways tab, click Manage in vCloud Director. This is where we go to create a NAT route between our external IP address and our internal virtual machine. To create our NAT, we need to know two things. The first thing we need to know is what IP addresses we have access to outside of our network. Our case is simple, and we only have one. The second thing we need to know is what IP addresses we have access to on our internal network. In this case, we have one Windows virtual machine, so we only have one IP address. Let's assume that this is a SharePoint virtual machine or a web server. We can configure NAT services from the network, but let's go do it from the Edge Gateway. Click the Edge Gateways tab, and then click our SharePoint virtual machine. On the NAT tab, we can create either a destination NAT or source NAT. Source NAT means that sources inside the hybrid service are going out. Destination NAT means that the destination is inside the hybrid service, from the outside coming in. Now let's add a destination NAT so we can direct traffic coming from the internet to a specific virtual machine. Click Add DNAT. Now we can see our external network. For our external range, we'll use the IP address we saw earlier, which comes from the pool of IP addresses assigned to that network. Let's set our internal IP address to direct any web traffic that hits our external IP address to our SharePoint or web application virtual machine. Finally, let's leave the translated port set to 80, and then click OK to create our destination NAT role. There's our destination NAT role. It's that simple. With our NAT created, traffic from outside of our network is going to go straight to our virtual machine and reconfigure the edge gateway. That means all traffic that starts on port 80 is going to get directed to our virtual machine. Now you should have a better understanding of network address translation.